year. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask the attendant if you can visit the holder of the year. The attendant will raise an inquiring eyebrow, but will not speak. If the attendant just rolls their eyes and returns to their work, quietly leave the building. The attendant will call security if you pester them, and while you will not be harmed, you will earn an embarrassing reputation as you are forcefully removed. If the attendant rolls their eyes and stands, mumbling, How many of these psychos are going to come here? I mean, it doesn't have to be this place. You have come to the right place. They will lead you through the complex. Don't worry about getting lost, and you can take as much time as you want. Feel free to look around. This place is safe enough, and there are no unspeakable monsters waiting behind any of the doors you pass. The attendant will show you to a door that defies all earthly descriptions. They will simply watch you, waiting for you to open the door. Open this door, you will feel it probing your mind, searching your every thought for that which it seeks. It will swing open gently, and you must step forwards in the blinding light. You will pass quickly through this barrier, and into a small, quaint little town. For every step you take, a month will pass in the town. Make your way to the only building with a blue door. As you walk, take note as the children grow up. They will not notice you, but should one of them begin to strike down the other children, run. Take no heed of how many steps you take, but it's essential you reach the building with a blue door before all the residents of the town are killed. Inside of the building there will be all of those who died before you made it inside. They will turn to you, each of them bearing a different item. If any of them bear a large calendar, Know that your quest was destined to fail. You will be unable to move as the one carrying the calendar opens the item and strings of text fly from the pages and shred you like a rusty cheese grater. But if none of them bear a calendar, ignore them. The holder is none of these people. He will be watching your actions. Walk past these people. They will not act as you pass. This building is the town hall, and in the back is a bulletin board. Next to this board will be an oversized calendar that is covered in the writings of numerous events that are to take place in this town. The calendar will state that it is the day you were born, and written on this day will be the words. Infant sacrifice. At the moment you finish reading these words, tear the calendar from the wall and reveal the portal behind it. Throw yourself into this portal immediately, for the holder has seen your action and is hastily closing this escape route. Keep a tight hold onto the calendar as you fall. It may seem like a minute, it may seem like a millennia, but keep your hands on the calendar. It is the only thing guiding your freefall through oblivion. If you moved fast enough, you will find yourself on the floor underneath the desk of the attendant at the mental institution or halfway house. They will glare down at you and say, Took you long enough? Quickly get up out from under the desk and hope no one sees you as you leave. Gossip spreads fast, you know. Head to any place you can call home, 
and laying on the kitchen counter next to the coffee maker would be a small black planner filled with words written in an unknown language. This planner is object 365 or 538. The last day in this planner is your birthday, and it has yet to have plans written in.